Hey, how's it going? Richard Lee here, and today I'll be playing the second episode of my Real Madrid career mode series. And all three games I'm playing today are against Atletico Madrid. So, three Madrid derbies this episode. Firstly, the Super Cup, like home and away legs. And then followed by our first league game, which is also against Atletico Madrid. So we're trying to get victories over our bitter city rivals here, and hopefully we'll be successful. So yeah, here we go. Let's get on with it. Okay, so first game then. And like I said, we're up against Atletico Madrid in all three games today. So in this game, it's the first leg of the Super Cup. We're at home this time, so we've got Ronaldo, Ibra and Bale leading the line for us. Hammers just in behind. Kadira and Kroos as our centre mids. Marcelo Ramos, Varane and Carvajal as our back four. And then obviously Casillas in goal because we don't really have any other keepers anymore. So we get off to a good start here. Bale getting a nice little shot away there. They get the ball back though. Closing down with Kadira on the wing. Uh, Kadira plays a ball into the box. And there you go. Ibrahimovic smashes it back into, into the back of the net with his head. And yeah, that was a lovely little headed goal there. And yeah, gets a goal in his first competitive fixture for us. So that was, that was a good result. Bale there could have put us 2-0 up, didn't quite. Uh, they get a decent shot away there. I don't know how they didn't score, but they didn't anyway, so we got away with that one. They turn us, push us off the ball there. Lovely bit of play from them. I really like the way the AI plays this year. They just seem a lot better than they were before. And bam, look at that header from Ronaldo. Like The way he hangs in the air is just the way you're doing reality. I was really impressed with that. And yeah, like the, the way the game played this year, I've just been really impressed with. Like they, That was a well-worked goal. I don't think I really could have done much about that. But here we go, right from kickoff. Decide to run up the one with Bale, get uh, get into the box, get past them, get a shot away, smashes it right into the corner, and yeah, three one up at this point, doing well, quality three one can't be bad. Uh, so at, at half time, I decide to make a change, and I bring on Fernandez for the book for Ran because I thought he was a bit of a liability, and here you go, Ibrahimovic plays a lovely ball in there to Ronaldo, gets taken out by Juan Fran just outside the box. And, of course, Juan Fran does pick up a red card there. But, unfortunately, we probably would have gone on to score that because it was one-on-one -on -one with Ronaldo. But, instead, we get a free kick and we're shit at free kick, so we miss it. It's all right. Um, we get a massive deflection there. And we go 4-1 up for Ronaldo. You'll see how major that deflection was on the replay. It was just ridiculous. Like, it was, the keeper probably had it covered, but it just slammed off the player. And we went 4-1 up. But, just like us, they decide to try something from kickoff. Uh, we got unlucky there not to obtain the ball like, after we tackled them. But they, they went on a decent run in. A nice one-two touch football. Uh, plays him in. Plays him Mandzukic. Gets a decent shot away. Then he gets lucky there that the ball comes right back to him to smash it in with his overpowered head. So 4-2 mm, at this point. And yeah, like they're, they're attacking as well. They're doing... like We're basically defending badly, I think. Like, I, I don't know why I sold myself with the slide there. But yeah, there you go. Lovely little goal. Well taken finish to put them 4-3. And the game was really on at this point. Ronaldo, though, turns inside, gets a decent shot away, and somehow the keeper manages to pull that out of the air. I don't know how he managed that one, though. It was a pretty impressive stop, though. Bale gets a decent shot away there. They clear the ball. And here you go. They get a cross in, but we get it clear. No, we do not. We do not get that clear. We do not get that clear at all. But we get it clear here. No, we do not. They score. Oh, how did we fuck that up? We went from 4-1 up to 4-4. And um, we just should have cleared that several times. That was fucking stupid. Like, ugh, don't know what I was playing at. But I, it's all right because I went up the other end with Bale, smashed it wide, four four. But it's all right. We've got Hesse here. Hesse's got a chance. No wide. And um, we finished the game four all. So, mm, like, we were four one up and we screwed it away. So four four in the end. And for this game, I had to bring in Ilya Romendi uh, because Kroos got injured. So Ilya Romendi and uh, Kadira, my middle two there. Ronaldo, Benzema and Bale, my front line. And then Marcelo, Ramos, Varane and Carvajal as my back four. With Casillas in goal, obviously. And straight away, they're causing us problems there. Casillas saving us and launches a counter-attack. Hamez plays through Ronaldo. Yes, come on, Ronaldo. You've got this. You've got this covered. Cut inside of it. No, it just takes a shot. He should have cut inside and finessed it into the corner. That would have been 1-0, I reckon. But no, I, I played the wrong choice. And I, I don't know what was going on here. I just couldn't get the ball. And they smashed it off the post and got a penalty. So that, that wasn't good. But fortunately, Mandzukic screwed up his penalty. And we managed to get rid of the ball. But they keep firing balls at us. And oh, what was I doing with Marcelo there? Like, seriously. But fortunately, we got away with it because they smashed it wide. And here you go. Yaramendi playing with the ball on the edge of the box. Gets a pretty terrible shot away, though. 
And there you go. Mandzukic trying something that didn't quite work out. Griezmann getting the ball in the box here. Oh, oh, completely done. And three players all following the ball. Um, yeah, they, they get a goal out of this, which was well worked, to be honest. They just completely sold us all. We all followed the ball like a bunch of seven-year-olds. And then they managed to score and go 1-0 up. So that was disappointing. At this point, oh, I do not know how Hamez managed to miss that. Like, it was a perfect chance to score. Second half now, though. Oh, a lovely bit of play from the AI. Like I said before, they play like real human players now. And they got themselves a penalty. And surely well, they weren't going to miss again. No, Mandzukic smashes it right down the middle. And we go from 4-1 up originally to 6-4 down now. So that's pretty pathetic. Bale running in the box here, though. Gets a shot away. No, it blocks. Benzema, though, scores. No. Cleared off the line. I don't know why he didn't just smash that, but he didn't. Anyway, though, Bale working hard here. Tracking, defending, defending right from his box. And runs right up the full length of the pitch. Keeps running with it. Takes them all on. Like they, the player sells himself there by sliding on the ground. Silly, silly little man. And um, yeah, Bale scores there and puts us right back in the game. 2-1. Solid. Marcelo there plays Benzema in. And oh, that was the worst shot ever. It's all right though. Ronaldo gets a good free kick in here. James with a lovely little floated header in the, into the corner for his first goal. And yeah, we, the comeback is on. We're going to win the cup. No. Atletico Madrid won the cup. We threw away a 4-1 lead and ended up losing on away goals. So, yeah, no silverware for us. Not yet, anyway. We'll have to wait a bit for that. So that's disappointing. But it was time for us to get our revenge in the first proper game of the season, like going into the league. And here we go. Ronaldo, Ibra and Bale as our leading line. Uh, the new sign-in you can see is in cam there. Yanazai, another new sign-in in centre mid. Pogba, Kadira alongside him. Marcelo, Ramos, Pepe and Carvajal at the back. And then Casillas in goal. So, yeah, quality lineup here. Like, got a couple of my new signings. Yano's only cost me six and a half million. Pogba cost 24, though, but definitely worth it. And there you can see they should have probably been 1 0 up there. Like, I don't know what I'm playing at, to be honest. But Ronaldo smashes through there. Gets a decent shot away, but it is saved. And they take us on again. But that, that cross, what was that cross? That was a, one of the worst crosses I've ever seen. And it's half time then. Time to make another change. Kovacic comes in to make his debut as well. He cost me 10 million, so pretty cheap. Like, I've, I always sign him in Football Manager, so pretty much all the players that I'm signing here are Football Manager players that I'd sign up. Decent bit of keeping from Casillas there to keep us in it. Kovacic here, looking lovely. Seems to fit him to the team well. He just, the way he moves about just sits, suits my mentality in this game. And there you go. Plays a lovely ball to Bale, who smashes in the net to put us 1 0 up. And here we go. Yanazo going through. Nice little tackle there, considering his, defense, his tackling is absolutely shocking. Like he tries a bit of a skill shot there, doesn't quite work out, almost, but not quite. Nearly got a debut goal, but nah, like that silly bit of skill kind of cost him. And he didn't score. So there you go, Koke taking us on. And um, yeah, like Mandzukic, he, he always had that header. Like I knew that as soon as he, I saw him towering above, I just thought, oh shit, like that's, that's going to be a goal. Yanazo coming inside there for his debut goal. No, saves though. And from the free kick, from the corner even, we get a goal from Bale. Once again, Kovacic setting up Bale. And we go 2-1 up. And here you go, Ronaldo cuts in. Ah, oh, tries a little silly skill shot. Plays it right into the keeper's arms. But yeah, we do get a 2-1 victory. So that's good. First result, first game of the season is a win. So yeah, quality, quality result for us there. We got two draws against Atletico Madrid that cost us the Super Cup. Throwing away a 4-1 lead. So yeah, that was disappointing. But... We do win our first league game of the season, which is quality. So hopefully we can progress on from there, get some more positive results. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the way the league season is going to progress, to be honest, because I'm liking the look of our team at the moment. We've made some decent sign-ins with Kovacic, Pogba, and Yanazai coming in, as well as Ibra. So we spent a lot of money, but we got some good talent. We spent about just under 100 million, I think. But yeah, like those players are quality. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the season progresses because I think we can do really good stuff this season and pick up some quality results and hopefully win the title. I don't know if I'll, I'll change the setting because world class is a bit easy at times. But like I showed with that 4-1 lead that I threw away, I, I'm still not perfect at world class. So I'll, I'll probably leave that for a bit and not switch over to legendary for a while because I need to get used to the game, like how it's different from 14 before I switch over. I think... This year, Legendary is going to be really difficult because even world class, the AI seems really intelligent. So I think on Legendary, that'll be even more so, and that could be pretty tough. So I don't know if I'll ever particularly get used to Legendary like I could in 14, but 
hopefully like we can switch the difficulty up and progress on from there because that would be cool. But yeah, victory in our first league game anyway. It was a shame that we lost the Super Cup to our rivals, but at least we sorted it out with a victory in the league game. So yeah, bring it on. Bring on the rest of the season. And hopefully I can win some silverware for you. I know it didn't work out so great in that episode, but we can do it in the future. I'm, I'm confident we can win the league this season. So yeah, bring it on. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.